Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Today we're diving into one of the most fun and surprisingly useful features on the Flipper Zero, the IR Blaster. Now, the IR Blaster lets your Flipper Zero send infrared signals, just like your TV remote. Except for now you can carry it on your keychain and yes, it can control way more than just your TV. Now that little black rectangle on top of your flipper, that's your transmitter. And when you load it up with the right signal, well, it's remote control mayhem. So here's how you use it. We're gonna go ahead and scroll on down to infrared on our flipper. And we have a few options here. We have universal remotes. We can learn a new remote, our saved remotes, and GPIO settings if we have an IR blaster plugged in, an external one, which I have one, I need to put it together. But with universal remotes, we're able to control TVs, audio, projectors, or fans and AC units. Inside the universal remote, you would hold it as such, Go to the button that you're wanting to transmit and push OK. It will cycle through all 59 universal remote codes and one of those will actually mute the TV. This is perfect if you are out in public and aren't knowing exactly what you're trying to control. I did this, uh, I took this on a cruise ship, which uh, I don't recommend doing now. I think that's illegal now. It wasn't when I did it. And uh, the room across the way from Mrs. Broadcast in my room, we had clear access to their TV and I kept changing the channel and muting it. Don't, don't do that. Russ, flash right here. Do not do. <laughs> it was definitely annoying and it was fun to see, but getting back to how to use it is going to that infrared. We can go there on our flipper and choose a remote uh, like the TV, click a button, boom, single, single, <laughs> signal, press a button and boom, signal sent. You can even learn new IR signals from your own remotes and replay them at any time. So basically the Flipper Zero acts as a universal remote, but the hacker edition. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. It's searching. We're going to push the power button. And as you see, it registers right here. So we can either just replicate it or save it. I already have this remote saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Under saved remotes, there it is. This is the retro TV. There's the power button. And if you're the kind of person who lives for custom tech like the Flipper Zero, then you need to know about today's sponsor, PCBWay. So whether you're designing a flipper accessory, a custom badge, or building a device from scratch, PCBWay is the go-to for high quality PCBs, CNC machining, and even 3D printing. I've used PCBWay for quite a few custom boards and projects here, like I have this one here to give my GameCube network capabilities. Why would you wanna do that in 2025? That's a great question and we might explore that in a future video. So with my custom boards, I made it to where our GameCube can go online in 2025. Why would you wanna do that? Stay tuned, we'll showcase this in a future video on why you may want to do that. And the best part is prototypes start as low as $5. Hit the link below to get your first order rolling and bring your weirdest builds to life, you weirdos. And that's a wrap on the Flipper Zero's IR feature. So whether you're automating your life or channel surfing like a villain, this little tool has got a lot of power behind its tiny screen. Make sure to subscribe if you want more Flipper tips, tech reviews, and retro handheld chaos. And if you want to unlock member-only ROM packs, Flipper scripts, and exclusive guides, head over to modernbroadcast.tv and become a member today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got 17 TVs to turn off all at once.